society riddled with social inequality, where the privileged nobility and clergy lived in luxury while the commoners bore the brunt of economic hardship. Add to this a financial crisis, with France's coffers drained by wars, and the opulent lifestyle of Louis XVI. Stir in the potent influence of Enlightenment ideas, questioning the divine right of kings. Then, in 1789, the Estates General was convened, sparking hope for change. And so, the stage was set for a revolution that would forever change the course of history. As the Estates General turned into the National Assembly, the revolution truly began. Now picture this. It's the 14th of July, 1789, and the storming of the Bastille is in full swing. This medieval fortress and prison in Paris becomes a flashpoint, a symbol of royal tyranny brutally torn down by the people. The revolution is no longer a polite debate, it's a full-blown rebellion. The reign of terror. From 1793 to 1794, the guillotine becomes the chilling symbol of revolutionary justice. Thousands are executed, including King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, accused of crimes against the French Republic. But as the terror subsides, a new figure rises from the political chaos, Napoleon Bonaparte. A brilliant military strategist, he seizes power in a coup d'etat in 1800, crowning himself emperor five years later. The revolution once started was a force that could not be stopped. The French Revolution didn't just end with the rise of Napoleon, it was a catalyst for profound global change. The wave of nationalism it stirred spread far beyond France's borders, inspiring nations to assert their individual identities. It gave birth to modern political ideologies, shaping political landscapes globally. Yet Napoleon's eventual downfall signaled the revolution's end, leaving behind a legacy of radical transformation. The French Revolution, a tumultuous period of radical social and political upheaval, forever altered the face of France and the world.